Welcome back to another Champion Deep Dive, and today we're talking about Red Goblin. He's a glider riding, frenzy bound, carnage bomb damage dealer with power gain, drain, and stacks the fury to bring the pain. Let's get into it. Red Goblin has two passive abilities in that he gains full immunity to incinerate and power burn. And his symbiote reduces ability accuracy of passive evade effects for Spider-Verse champions by 100%. Now Red Goblin has persistent bloodlust. And after winning a fight, you gain one bloodlust for the remainder of the quest, maxing out at five. If defeating a Spider-Verse champion, you gain an additional bloodlust. However, if you lose a match, you lose two. Trust me. You don't want to lose these, because this is what feeds your frenzy. Now this is activated while the opponent has less than 15% health remaining. Each bloodlust increases this threshold by a flat 10%, maxing at 65% when fully ramped. Further, Red Goblin gains increased attack rating and an additional attack boost per bloodlust, with each stack suffering from 15% reduced potency. Frenzy also triggers a true sense buff bypassing the effects of Miss and Auto Block. When Frenzy ends, however, this buff will be removed. Now, on Special Attack Activation, you gain Symbiote buffs based on the last attack launched. Buffs last for 15 seconds, but they start paused. Buffs are only unpaused the next time one of them are triggered. So, Light Attacks trigger an Energize buff, granting 25% combat power rate. Aptitudes increase the potency by 75%. Medium attacks trigger a Fury buff, granting 1622.4 attack rating, and this is based on a rank 3 6 star. Heavy charge triggers an aptitude buff, granting 120% increased Fury, Precision, and Armor Up potency. As you might have guessed, Red Goblin carries Carnage Bombs, and you can access them by launching a special 2 attack. Now depending on what buff is active at the time, Carnage Bombs will inflict a different effect on the opponent. So for each Energize buff, inflicts a power drain, draining 10% max power over 15 seconds. Fury buffs inflict armor break, reducing armor for 15 seconds. All other buffs inflict incinerate, dealing energy damage over 15 seconds. You can also access the carnage bombs through a heavy attack. However, durations are decreased by 65%. Now, let's dig a little deeper into the special attacks. Special attack one initiates a symbiote attack, all five hits deal a burst of direct damage equal to 100% damage dealt. Potency is increased by 100% for each unique debuff on the opponent. Additionally, Shrapnel Blasts incinerate the opponent, dealing energy damage over 20 seconds. Now, the Special 2, as you know, launches Carnage Bombs and inflicts Carnage Bomb debuffs, but also launches Afterburner, where all three hits deal a burst of energy damage. Keep in mind, this damage interacts with that fury, especially when boosted by aptitude. Special 3 activates Frenzy for 30 seconds, as well as inflicts 7 random Carnage Bomb debuffs with 50% increased duration, giving Red Goblin lots of time to deal damage and raise some Carnage. Also, if you follow this up with a special one in particular, you can increase the potency by all of those debuffs that you just inflicted. Now, let's check out his signature ability. While Frenzy is active, special attacks generate an additional symbiote buff with 35% reduced potency, giving Red Goblin increased effectiveness in his fights not only from gaining additional buffs, but each buff counts towards the Carnage Bomb debuffs you inflict on the opponent as well. This is especially evident in this special 3, as that is your main source of frenzy outside of the Bloodlust Health Threshold trigger. Now, let's take this for a spin in the Champion Rotation. Being able to choose what buffs are triggered by what attack you choose before the special attack opens the door for customization of his loop to suit your needs, but here are just a few suggestions. First, you want to get to your special one, and finish it with a light attack to gain the energize buff. This will give you the combat power rate gain to rush you to the special three. Try to land a parry and then immediately heavy charge before launching your special three. After the attack is over, you'll gain an aptitude buff to power up all of the following buffs. Notice how your signature ability gave you two aptitude buffs. 
From there, speed over to your special 2 and make sure to land a medium attack before launching to trigger a fury buff. Again, the signature ability at work here doubling up on that fury attack. Now, the aptitude power fury will make that special 2 hit pretty hard. Alternately, if you need power drain as a tool, you can drop heavy attacks while energize is active, or you can use a light attack before your special 2. Now, if the opponent still happens to be standing, launching a special one from a medium attack should do the trick, especially if you already have a lot of debuffs on the opponent. Alternatively, for shorter fights and a damage focus, you can build up to just under the special two and land a heavy attack cancel in the special one to gain the aptitude. From there, rush to your special two to gain an enhanced fury and armor breaks. For a power control focus, launch a special 1 from a light attack, and then follow up with a special 2 from medium to gain fury for damage, but also launching carnage bombs for power control, keeping you from pushing the opponent to special 3 for 15 seconds. Now let's take a look at some places where Red Goblin shines. Having such ready access to energize makes Red Goblin a prime candidate for power reserve notes. Faster access to specials means more access to carnage bombs and burst damage. Power Shield is also great as his special attacks are already powerful and Power Shield just stacks on the hurt. Taking him in the diss track with all of those debuffs he places, Red Goblin can handle that no problem. With Incinerate being so available on Red Goblin, Invade nodes are a treat while hitting into your opponent's block. And of course, General Questing as his loop is really powerful and will get you through a lot of fights pretty fast. Are you theory crafting about where to use him best? Sound off in the comments below. Now, moving on to synergies. Self-centered with either Carnage or Green Goblin will grant Red Goblin an additional bloodlust the first time he wins a fight in a quest. Green Goblin sets Madness and Cunning stacks to be even when launching special attacks. While both are even, his ability accuracy increases by 25%, increasing the effectiveness of his Afterburner, Laser Blast, and Pumpkin Bombs and Carnage generates one additional permanent buff when genetic mutation ends. When reaching max permanent buffs, however, future symbiotic creation buffs last 10 seconds. Family Feud with Venom on the team decreases the bloodlust penalty when defeated by one. So instead of taking a loss of two, you're only taking one, meaning you only need one more fight to get back in the game. Venom, however, reduces the duration of Venom's Clintar buff by 30%, shaving off almost three seconds and giving you faster access to your genetic memory buffs. Hatred with Spider-Man Symbiote increases Red Goblin's buff duration by 30% while Frenzy is active. This is really great after the special 3, because it keeps your buffs intact for longer and you have more access to them when you launch your specials. Spider-Man Symbiote, when launching a special 2, creates a non-stacking fury buff granting 5% attack for each armor break on the opponent, lasting 20 seconds. While active, heavy attacks inflict one additional armor break allowing for some yellow numbers of the big variety. Oz born to be wild. While Frenzy is active, Red Goblin's Fury and Energize buffs have 15% increased potency. And Iron Patriot's Arc Overload grants a Fury buff increasing attack rating by 300%. For 30 seconds, it no longer burns out and can be reactivated after a 60 second cooldown. Meaning, you can access that healing and damage multiple times in a fight. Symbiote Consciousness with Carnage, Symbiote Supreme, or Venom the Duck grants 15% critical damage rating for every Symbiote on the team, increasing those big yellow numbers by a maximum potential of 75%. I like that. Now, let's check out some notable mastery suggestions. The Assassin Mastery stacks on really nice with Frenzy to give you some juicy numbers before you KO your opponent. And with his ability to stack on so many debuffs and stacks, Despair will pair nicely against regen champions with its regen reducing abilities. Thank you for watching this champion deep dive for Red Goblin. Are you ready? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, and don't forget to share. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip. Oh. Potamus!